Hello everyone! With this latest release of Hero and Hero Player, both products become even more integrated with the Nuke family and adopt a synchronized numbering scheme, making this release 9.0b7. In addition to ensuring workflow and project file compatibility between Hero, Hero Player and Nuke Studio, this release sees Hero updated with many advanced editorial and conform features developed for Nuke Studio, as well as features new in Nuke Studio 9.0b7. As well as adding the ability to import AF files, in Hero 9.0 v7, XML files can now be imported with animated non-linear retimes, transforms and crops intact, reducing unnecessary rework and speeding up your conform times significantly. Hero also supports additional file formats including MXF and Apple QuickTime Pro RES. Now, soft effects can be added right on Hero's timeline. In timeline soft effects including transforms, crops, burn-ins, grades, color space and CDLs. Soft effects let you quickly and easily get shots set up, experiment with ideas and interactively refine your work in real time. Appearing as a layer above shots on the timeline, soft effects can be applied, stacked, copied and cloned between shots. Annotations allow you to easily provide feedback on shots, add artistic directions and communicate your ideas visually to others. Useful during review sessions or when working as part of a team, annotations let you draw or write directly in the Hero Viewer on a shot-by-shot -shot basis, and then share those comments with the new scripts with the artists working on the shots. With the new multiple overlay tracks feature, you can quickly and easily create editorial effects requiring overlays in Hero Timeline. Either create new blend tracks or convert current tracks from editorial to finishing, build complex picture-in-pictures, preset your compositing elements, or add logos and graphics all in real time. Hero's audio tools have been updated as well. Audio waveforms are now visible in the timeline, helping you edit your audio more accurately. Use the cross dissolves and fade in and fade out to add finishing touches to your audio tracks. Hero and Hero Player now support reading multi-view stereo EXRs, which let you play back and review stereo images in real time, and use a stereo monitor for viewing through SDA out. As well as stereo playback, Hero Player now has the ability to view audio waveforms in the timeline and read in soft effects, overlay tracks and annotations created in Nuke Studio and Hero, along with support for all the new file formats. With the addition of these advanced editorial and conform features and the increased integration between products, you can now work faster and more collaboratively in Hero, Hero Player and Nuke than ever before.